Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we're here with possibly the final trailer we're gonna get for Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles, and that's Gyutaro, the final character in at least this set of DLC, but I'm not sure if we're gonna get another one, so let's enjoy this DLC stream while we have it. So we're gonna go over the trailer in regular speed, and then we're gonna um, slow it down and go over every little thing we see, because you don't get to see too much gameplay in these trailers, but the little... The little bits we can piece together to have a slight idea of how the character's gonna play. This one's pretty cryptic though, I've gone through it once. I love the animations though, how they've, um, I don't know, made the, like, the red particle effects from the anime, it's just... They're so good at recreating that, um, style in the game. And they've done it before, I didn't expect they wouldn't do it again, but he's just a particularly good example of it. Awesome, lots of, tons and tons of crazy slashing with the sickles, and look at the super. The way I'm recording this video might make it a little lower quality, but that super looks awesome. Check out a full resolution video of the trailer if you want to see it, but it, it is great. So now I believe, yeah. So now we're in half speed. And let's go over everything we see. It's pretty, pretty, um, similar to other ones. So we get to see a full attack string here. Just a quick note, because we're going to go over everything. May as well be nitpick at the start. So it seems like he has a pretty decent, um standing attack. It doesn't look like it has a huge amount of range, obviously nothing compared to who we just had with Daki, but it seems like it has a really good um, horizontal range, but not um, forwards. It has a surrounding range. He does a long slice around him, so that might be better at catching some things or um, snuffing out some supports, because sometimes when you try to hit supports and you're moving, they kind of move to the side of you and then you try to hit them and you just miss. So maybe he won't have that problem because he's got this really sweeping attack. So that might be good. Or maybe if the opponent like sidesteps, you can get certain catches on different distances of things. That just seems like a good thing to point out. So lots of dancing, jumping, spinning around, lots of slashes. And if that was the full attack string, I'm pretty sure there, because you got to see the final strike of it. So do 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 do. And then this is the final part. Bam. And he cancels into some special move. Now we get the down combo. It's pretty similar to like Inosuke or even Daki. She jumps up into the air and just pushes the opponent down. Now this grab, it's pretty hard to tell uh, how much range it has, so he's break broken out of uh, Tanjiro's combo, but it's kind of hard to tell because Tanjiro's also lunging forward here at the same time. So if we kind of keep an eye on how far Gyutaro has moved from this distance on the ground, it's like here, he kind of only took like a little step forward. So we can, we can go frame by frame because this is important, extremely exciting stuff. I don't know what else you're going to be doing on a Sunday. Wait, no, Monday. <laughs> so his activation spot. Hasn't moved at all, and he's about to take a step, but Tanjiro is also moving forward. So he's moving from here. Yeah, so he moves maybe about two character lengths, think, like just leaving his long ass leg behind. I think this is going to be a similar length to like Inosuke's and Itsu kind of grab. Um, maybe a bit longer than, you know, Water Tanjiro, but nothing like Hinokami Tanjiro or like Nezuko or anything like that. So he's jump cancelled something into the air, and then has a pretty good looking dive kick, it hits twice. Hopefully it doesn't have the problem that some dive kicks have, like um, Entertainment District Tanjiro, and some characters have dive kicks where if it hits like with only one hit or something, then they can't cancel it and you can even get punished on hit. So hopefully he doesn't have that problem, because some characters don't. They have two hitting ones that just work completely, completely seamlessly and are really good, so hopefully Kutaro is another example of that, because that is really annoying. As you can see, Tengen's poisoned here, so yep, definitely going to be a poison character. Hopefully poison gets buffed, because it's kind of not really that useful, or at least the way that, um, what's her name? Um, <laughs> Shinobu uses it. Um, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so we've seen the dive kick. Then we see a few more attacks of the attack string. Oh yeah, well, then we go into an up attack string, so he just has a few more spins. The opponent gets launched into the air, we don't get to see any follow-ups. Lovely surge animation. Now this is an interesting special move. We don't really get to see too many special moves in this trailer, or nothing that is clearly a special move, but this is obviously one of them to me. It um kind of really reminds me of Entertainment Inosuke's guard special. Because he kind of you can tell it's a special move, because he does a thing where he like 
tilts his head back, he like does a little roar, like rah, jumps in, does a few slashes, and then does this double cross slash and jump backwards. Actually, I think I have a, a reference video. Oh yeah, <laughs> his Inosuke. Yeah. He just does a few hits, jumps backwards. So I don't know if this is going to be an unblockable, but he, you can see here that it does apply the poison. And it was kind of slow, because he does that little, you know, jump back, not jump back, but like, he does his little roar, has his moment, and then jumps in. So it makes it quite slow on activation, so I don't know if that's um, telling that it'll be unblockable. Because it is, yeah, really quite slow. Tengen was like standing there and then went for an attack and only then it managed to hit him. And it only worked because he was in surge mode and had the armor. But uh, yeah, it does poison and does lead to combos. So being unblockable would be pretty strong, but it also is quite slow, so it makes sense. So we'll see. This is a boost mode combo ender. Looks pretty awesome. Now we get to see his DP. So I don't think that special move we saw before... Um, well, it definitely wasn't his DP, because we're seeing his DP now. Um, DP is guard special. So I guess that other special may have been a tilt special, or even a demon skill. Because it is, if it is decently speed, not too slow, it's kind of hard to tell without some using it yourself for reference. But if it is decently speeded, and it's unblockable, starts combos, and poisons the opponent, I guess that could be good enough to make it his demon skill. But you would hope that it is really good if it's costing demon meter. And hopefully that's not his only way of poisoning the opponent, since that's kind of you know, one of his things. So, this DP that we're seeing here, though, is pretty crazy. Very, very similar to, uh, um, words, Rui. Rui's was very, very similar, but he just has a bunch of slashes to make the effects around instead of a bunch of strings. It starts at a s similar size to Rui's, I think. I think Rui's is about this distance. It's like, you know, one character length on each side. So it's pretty large. But Yutaro's, I can't tell if it's just the animation after it hits or if it actually gets this big. But look how ginormous this thing gets. It's the entire damn screen. So I don't know if these are just particle effects and they're just like making the DP dramatic once it hits, or if it is actually going to be huge, I have no idea. But we have seen some really big hitboxes with DLC recently, like, um, just with Daki. Her, uh, Demon Skill 1 covers a huge amount of area, but if he has a DP that hits this massive area, that is really strong. That means it's gonna catch the opponent doing anything in this area, and yes, it's gonna be totally unsafe. But just having a button that just covers anything the opponent decides to do other than block patiently is super strong. If they jump, catch them. If they sidestep, like, beside you, or even away, if it's judging by how big this radius is, they'll catch them. Press buttons, catch them. That is so crazy. I can't wait to see if this is actually that big or if they're just being dramatic with some particle effects. So now we get to see that special move we saw before. Maybe it's a demon skill, maybe it's a tilt skill, or a standing skill. I have li literally no idea. Could be anything. Um, yeah, but it's only armored, I assume, because of the surge mode. But uh, yeah, you can see it doesn't have any hits except for when it just hits that one time and poisons Tengen. And then he goes in for this, which I'm pretty sure is probably going to be the tilt special. Because it kind of launches the opponent in the air. Let's watch that again. So, puts him in a crumple state with the poison. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be, like, a tilt special style special move. It's kind of like Daki's tilt special, or, like, basically any tilt special in this game. Where the your character kind of lunges forward, depending, and it can either go really far or just a little far. Like, water wheels don't go too far, but some things, like, the fire wheel goes, like, full screen. So he lunges forward a bit, and then just does a bunch of slashes while he does it. Pretty similar to Daki, she, like, slashes around some of her sashes as she dashes in. And then does a few hits, and then launches the opponent in the air. I imagine this is all one special move. And hopefully it's really safe and dash cancelable. Kind of like, um, actually it really reminds me of Hinokami Tanjiro's tilt special. How he does slash 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 while he's all dashing in. And then launches the opponent in the air. So hopefully it's all really safe and dash cancelable, making it really good for pressure. But we'll see, because we it's just a trailer. We can't see too much. And then we just go straight into the ultimate. We don't get to see any activation or anything, but... We see the animation, and the animation is pretty damn awesome, as we could have expected. <laughs> the zoom in on his face looks really awesome, and all of the, like, the spiraling, slashing, red blood particles look so great. So great, so great, so great. But, uh, yeah, so to recap, 
It looks like he has pretty decent buttons, not crazy long range, but it seems like they have good, like, um, surrounding hitboxes, like, area of effect. Um, yeah, attack strings, attack strings, grabs, things didn't look too interesting. Um, obviously he poisons the opponent, and so yeah, we got to see this. I'm gonna say this is either his demon skill one or his, um, special one, so it's just his neutral special will be this kind of possibly unblockable poison maybe not unblockable but it start it gives poison and it um continues combos then we also get to see guard special which is this massive dp and then we also get to see this thing again which is either a demon skill or a neutral special into this which i'm calling probably his t um yeah tilt tilt special but yeah, I'm excited. They didn't show too much or give too much about his um, game plan away, like how he's actually going to play, what kind of things he has. Darky was pretty obvious. I think we saw basically every tool she has in her trailer. But this guy's a little bit more mysterious. I think it's obvious he's going to be a bit of a rushdown monster because he's got a possible unblockable, some poison. But really, he has hopefully good defense with that massive DP and um, awesome animations. That's not part of gameplay, but it's important to watch. <laughs> Anyways... That's Yutaro. I'm sure we're going to see more of him soon. I'm not sure if they've released the actual release date, but we do get to see at the end of the trailer. It is definitely coming out in November, which, you know, will be over soon. So it'll be out in a week or so. And uh, yeah, I'll see you there for some more Yutaro action. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! -bye.